Hi friends, very welcome. In this episode, I'm gonna introduce an edge bridge or full bridge DC motor driver. To test the circuit, I have prepared all necessary materials. This is the main board. Uh, I have used four power MOSFETs and two MOSFET driver chips. These are high current carrying tracks and you can see the supply motor and controlling connectors. To prepare the controlling signals, I have used an Arduino Uno board. Also, I have built this keypad to increase or decrease the speed and change the rotation direction of the motor. As a load, I will use this windscreen wiper DC motor and I will examine the output PWM signal on the oscilloscope screen. So stay tuned and watch the video till the last second. In the next step, I will explain the circuit. Alright, this is the schematic diagram of the device. I have explained the uh, schematic completely in the article. Uh, you can find the article link in the video description. The PCB board of the device is pretty clear in these pictures. The right picture shows a 3D view from the top and a 3D view from the bottom layer and the left picture shows the PCB board in the design environment. I did not have the schematic symbol and PCB footprint uh, for the MOSFETs and the MOSFET drivers. So as usual I got the help from the Symaxis component libraries. I used the libraries for IC1 and IC2, uh, I mean MOSFET drivers and for the MOSFETs also Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. So instead of wasting my time in designing the libraries from scratch, I just installed them using the Symaxis plugin. Symaxis has provided plugins for all of this electronic designing CAD software. Almost all famous names are listed here. Altium Designer, Eagle, KiCad, Orcad, Proteus, EasyADA and others. Of course, I can guarantee your designing software is one of these, isn't it? I have explained this more in the article and provided the reference links where you can download the libraries or plugins. Just visit the article link in the video description. And finally, this is the assembled PCB board. As it is clear, all component packages are through hole. So it is easy to solder the components and quickly use the device. The PCB boards have been fabricated by the PCB Way company. I got 10 boards at the same price. As it, as it is clear in the picture, there is no problem with quality and soldering. The quality is just perfect. These exposed PCB tracks would carry a high amount of current. So you can increase the current handling of the tracks by adding some solder or copper wire. That's why these tracks are not completely covered by the solder mask. Also, dependent on your application and the current consumption of the motor, don't forget to mount the MOSFETs on a proper heatsink. You must use an isolation thermal pad for each MOSFET because the MOSFET bodies should not be connected to each other. This causes a bad short circuit. As you know, there are tons of fake components in the market and sometimes or most of the time it is difficult to distinguish between real and fake. To purchase original components, just visit the component searchengine.com and let's search for our MOSFET driver chip, IR2104. Press the search button and this is the search results. The first component in the search results is our desired one, okay? Let's click on the first one, as it says IR2104, DIP package, schematic symbol, PCB footprint, 3D model, the price in the mouser and arrow have already provided. Let's click on this button and you can see the prices in arrow, DGK, Vertical, Let's come down, Avnet, Funnel, RS components, uh, 
uh, Mauser Element 14 Avnet again and other distributors all of these distributors are known and you can be sure that your purchase component is original and it will work as, ex as expected and finally welcome back to the test bench as you can see I have made all proper connections between Arduino and the DC motor driver board and these wires go to the motor and power supply and channel 1 of the oscilloscope uh, captures the PWM pulse and uh, now let's increase the duty cycle of the PWM uh, the current consumption of the motor increases let's go up to the maximum this is the maximum let's decrease the duty cycle of the PWM the current consumption of the motor decreases let's change the rotation direction of the motor do you see the PWM pulse on the oscilloscope screen uh, because I have set the uh, channel 1 on DC the rotation direction change uh, will be obvious on the oscilloscope screen and even the motor jumps when I change the rotation direction so you can build this circuit and play with this button yourself and have fun uh, or use it seriously in another uh, industrial project so as it is clear this edge bridge DC motor driver uh, gives you a lot of space to play with your DC motor and easily change the speed and rotation direction of the motor ok friends I hope you like this video don't forget to share and subscribe also give me a big thumbs up catch you next time